evangelist Gabriel Fernandez and God has called and commissioned me to lead people of all walks of life to a deep and genuine encounter with him. By the grace of God, I have seen many people touched by God in this ministry and I encourage you, my dear friend, to connect in faith. Believe and you shall receive in the name of Jesus. to get to a place of genuine encounter my dear friend in preparation for the coming of Jesus I'm evangelist Gabriel Fernandez and I'm so happy to be with you today it is another day that God has given us by his grace and the life that we've received today comes straight from God it is another week that God has given us a week to live to the fullest today is Monday and on Monday we usually share the Monday prophetic word and I have a word for you from the Lord I always seek God and I ask him, God, what are you saying to your children in this season? And God is the God who speaks and he lives. And he has indeed given me a message for you. Without any further delay, my dear friends, let's get into the Monday prophetic word. As I sought the Lord, this is what he said. He said, pick up your vision. Understand that it is my desire for you to be blessed and for you to walk in my plan and purpose for your life. I gave my son to die for you so that you may have all that you have in me. Don't throw down the vision that I have given you. Don't give up on your call. Don't give up on the call and purpose that I myself have placed on you. Stick to the plan that I've given you. One of the most tragic things in life that can happen is when you lose track of where you are going and you begin to float in life. Write down your life vision and make it plain, my child. It is not over until I say it's over. It's only the beginning. Your baby will not be aborted by baby killers. Your vision will not be stopped. You will make it as I give you strength. My dear friend, even as I received this word, the Lord led me to two scriptures and I want to share them with you. They're so powerful. The first scripture is from the book of Proverbs chapter 29 verse 18 in the King James Version. It says, Where there is no vision, the people perish. But he that keepeth the law, happy is he. My dear friend, where there is no vision, the people perish. The second scripture that the Lord led me to is from the book of Habakkuk chapter 2 from verse 2 to 3 in the King James Version and it says, And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision, make it plain upon the tables, that he may run that readeth it. Verse 3, For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. My dear friend, your vision will come to pass. The vision that God has given you will come to pass. Don't make the mistake, my dear friend, of looking at other people and watching other people's vision and moving out of your lane, moving out of what God has called you to do in your life and living someone else's life. God has given you a specific plan and a purpose for your life. Discover what it is if you haven't yet discovered it. Seek God in prayer and say, God, show me what you want me to do in life. And as God shows you, take this vision and run with it and you will be blessed. In saying that, my dear friend, let's go into a time of prayer. Let us begin to pray. The presence of God is so strong in this studio. And even as I record, my dear friend, God will bless you. I trust and believe that the presence and power of God is available and evident to you wherever you're watching. Even as you play this video and you're listening to me, I trust and believe that God is going to bless you mightily. In saying that, let's begin to pray. Take your cell phone and your device. Wherever you're watching me from, just go somewhere private where you can pray, where you can seek God. And even as you go there, my dear friend, begin to lift up praises to God. When the praises go up, my dear friend, the blessings of God will come down and your life will be changed forevermore. It shows us clearly in Psalm 67. Let the people praise you, O God. Let all the people praise you and then the land shall yield its harvest. My dear friend, in saying that, begin to praise God in your own words. Just lift up your own words to God. Praise Him. Give Him praise. Tell Him who He is to you. Father, you are the Alpha and the Omega. You are the beginning and the end. You are the all-consuming fire. You are the God in whom I trust. You are my God. You are my Father. You are my Heavenly Father. You are the God who created me. You are the God who never leaves me. You are the God who never forsakes me. You are the God who never forsakes my dear friend who's watching this video. You are the God who is closer than a brother. You are the God who is the only one who sticks around when everyone has left us. You are the only one who will never leave us and never forsake us. I thank you, Lord, that we can trust in you. I thank you, Lord, that we can trust in you. I thank you that we can put our hope in you. I thank you that even today, as today is Monday and we've received this glorious Monday prophetic word, 
I thank you that our lives will never be the same again. I thank you that my dear friend, your dear child who's watching this video will never be the same again. Your dear child will walk in their vision, in their purpose, in their destiny, even as you've called them for such a time as this. I thank you, Lord, and I give you praise. I give you praise, Lord. You deserve the glory, honor, and praise. Be glorified and be magnified in my life and in my dear friend's life. I pray this in Jesus' mighty name, and I thank you for it, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. My dear friend, just lift up both your hands and say, Holy Spirit of God, I welcome you in this place. Come and touch me today, even as I pray with Evangelist Gabriel. Come and touch me today as I've received this prophetic word. Revive my vision for the glory of King Jesus. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. My dear friend, in saying that, we're going to go into a time of prayer. I'm not going to pray for you such a long prayer, but I'm going to pray as God has led me, even as he was speaking to me. I'm going to pray for you and God will bless you. As we go into a time of prayer, my dear friend, I want to encourage you. Be in agreement with me. Comment in the comment section and agree with me. It is a principle from the Bible. The Bible shows us clearly that where we are gathered in agreement, the Lord is there. And also where we agree on a thing is touching. Where we agree, even as we comment, even as you comment and you agree, you shall receive your miracle, my dear friend. So agree with me even as I pray for you and as I speak blessings over your life blessings from the living God and your life will never be the same again my dear friend in saying that let's begin to pray father I pray for your dear child Lord I pray that you will release the grace in line with this prophetic word Lord that your child may achieve their dream that your child may achieve that vision that you've given them that your child may achieve that purpose and that destiny that you've placed on their life Lord I pray in line with this prophetic word protect your child and give your child the grace that the dream and the vision will not be aborted. Protect your child from destiny aborters, from baby aborters, from people who kill the vision. Protect your child from losing this vision because of the attacks of the enemy. Lord, help your child by your grace to stay in their lane and to stay focused on what you have called them to do, Lord. I pray this in Jesus' mighty name and I thank you for it, Lord, in Jesus' name. My dear friend, as a man of God, I just want to speak a blessing over you. You are blessed going in and coming out. You are blessed to be the head and not the tail. You are blessed and your family is blessed. Everything about you is blessed in the name of Jesus. Receive favor from the living God right now, even as I speak it over your life. Receive it in the name of Jesus. It is a done deal in the name of Jesus. God said it. I believe it. And that settles it, my dear friend. Until we meet again tomorrow for another message that will bless and change your life. God bless you and goodbye. If you were blessed by this video and you'd like to give a seed, feel free to do so using any one of the secured links provided in the description. If you would like to partner with us to support the work of the gospel on a monthly basis, then you can do so via Patreon. The link for Patreon as well as other information is also provided in the description. Other than that, my friend, God bless you, God keep you, God make His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Until we meet again next time, Shalom and goodbye.